15 undeniable signs you're a deep thinker. Deep thinkers reflect constantly and only speak when they have something meaningful to say. While their deep thoughts can distract them from reality at times, deep thinkers always listen to what you have to say because it's another opportunity to learn. Here are 15 undeniable signs you're a deep thinker. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. 1. You're introverted. Many deep thinkers are reserved, quiet and introverted. They're more likely to spend time in their head than out there socializing with others. They can be very outgoing and be introverted. There is a difference. Deep thinkers are almost always introverted because they require that quiet time to focus on their thoughts and give their ideas space and freedom to blossom. 2. You analyze experiences. It's common for a deep thinker to engage in a lot of analysis of past, present and future experiences. They take facts and experiences from the past and link them with new facts and experiences. They like to be nostalgic but also like to prepare for the future from learning from the past. They like to draw a big picture in the heads to see how things connect, using a lot of problem-solving skills. 3. You look at things from multiple perspectives. A deep thinker tends to do a lot of observing when other people speak. Observations of social situations on how people react and perceive is a strong feature of a deep thinker's personality. They quickly learn multiple ways of seeing things, and tend to know how to adapt themselves to better communicate with others. 4. You're naturally empathic. As patient and active listeners, a deep thinker is someone that will offer great comfort and support when others are down. They are empathic and accepting of others, and have realistic answers to solve problems. 5. You're forgetful. You might be thinking, how the hell is this possible? Well, the problem is, a deep thinker is thinking so much that mundane day-to-day -day tasks get pushed out of their heads. A deep thinker prefers to ruminate over more pressing issues and problem solve. So if they miss your birthday or anniversary, don't worry, it's nothing personal. 6. You're curious. A deep thinker is insatiably curious about the world around them. They need to know how things work and what makes people tick. Whether it's history, science, literature or you, they want to know more, because knowledge makes them happy. This makes them incredibly engaging, because they know a little something about everything. 7. You're open-minded. Deep thinkers are unlikely to close themselves off to new ideas. Psychologists believe that people who are able to look at both sides of an argument tend to score higher on intelligence tests. At the same time, a deep thinker won't blindly accept any new idea, because they can see both sides of an argument. As the great Aristotle said, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. 8. You notice things others don't. One of the unique things about deep thinkers is that they spend so much time with their thoughts that they are able to know things about themselves that others don't take the time to understand. This makes them very perceptive in real life and allows them to tap into things that other people miss out on. Whether it's paying attention to the details in a contract or picking up on hesitation vibes from a friend over coffee, deep thinkers are able to see things differently from the way others see them and that's a great skill to have in life. Remember to subscribe to my channel. 9. You can laugh at yourself. Deep thinkers, while they tend to be serious people, are also very forgiving of their nature and know that they are going to make mistakes. If you think you might be a deep thinker, but think your sense of humor disqualifies you, think again. Deep thinkers are laughers and they love life enough to know that silly things and amazing things happen. Laugh it off and get on with the show. A sense of humor also tells the world that you don't take yourself so seriously and that makes for a wonderful life in of itself. 10. Deep thinkers read a lot. You might be if you consume books like you breathe air. Trying to find your place in the world is easier when you are open to learning new things and consuming information that helps you grow. The difference is that people who are shallow thinkers consume information for entertainment. Deep thinkers consume information for the purpose of using it in real life later on. They might not know how or when, but deep thinkers see the value in obtaining new knowledge for the sake of obtaining new knowledge. 11. You tend to be a bit scatterbrained when you aren't focused on your work. If you are a deep thinker you might have trouble focusing on things that have nothing to do with your work or your purpose in the world. This is not a bad thing, it's a priorities thing. If your home is a mess but your bank account is lined, get a maid. You don't need to stress your brain and worry about things that you've deemed less important just because others say they are important. 
A messy house is not always a sign of a lazy person. It could be a sign of a deep thinker who has better things to focus on than laundry and dishes. 12. You love to learn. Deep thinkers love learning almost as much as they love life. It's the thing that makes life interesting for them. There is an entire world of adventure and opportunity out there and deep thinkers get that you can't see all of it, but you can learn about as much of it as possible. Whether learning for formal academia or life skills, deep thinkers long for time along with learning materials and experiences to make meaning and find value in what they are doing. 13. Problem Solvers. Deep thinkers are incredible problem solvers. They're constantly thinking and understanding the different perspectives that simplistic people simply can't comprehend. They are less likely to make mistakes as they've taken the time to think about all the different options. If you have a deep thinker in your workplace, don't hesitate to go to them for solutions. They'll explore everything in detail and give you an answer that will genuinely help you out. 14. A deep thinker doesn't care for small talk. We don't want to talk about the weather or how their day is going. We'd rather talk about the universe and what the meaning of life is. The good thing about a deep thinker is that they'll only speak when they have something important to say so everyone around them knows to listen. Simple-minded people find it hard to get along with a deep thinker because they won't participate in mindless gossip. For a deep thinker, that's the sort of toxic energy they simply don't want to let into their life. 15. You're observant. Deep thinkers love to observe and listen. They're not quick to make judgments or assumptions. They use their critical thinking skills to analyze all the available information before making an opinion. In an age of automated news feeds and Google, this kind of critical thinking skills is crucial to combat the plague of fake news and misinformation. Deep thinkers are swayed by what the majority of the population thinks. They need to observe the information themselves. So keep in mind that when a deep thinker has made a decision, it hasn't been made quickly or lightly. They've examined it from all angles. In conclusion, deep thinkers need their space and they need the freedom to explore their own ideas, as well as learn more about the ideas of others. It's fulfilling in a way that most people don't understand. If you enjoyed our video, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification to the first to receive out next educative videos and please consider watching our next video on your screen or visit our playlist for more educational, self-development and relationship tips videos and don't forget to share our videos as well. Thank you.